Hi everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be working on my Kiwi and New Zealand native flora painting. We've got a koru here of the silver fern and a kiwi and some butterflies. And it's a little bit of mixed media, acrylics, inks, a little bit of tissue paper again. Um, so today I'm going to use acrylic paint and I'm going to pop out the kiwi a little bit more. He's getting lost in all this stuff so I want to pop him out. And yeah, if I get time I'll do a little bit more but we'll just start with the kiwi. So just using a little bit of Payne's Grey and adding a little bit of water so it's quite fluid and I'm just going to come down the edges here very rough and very loose and using a rag to actually wipe a lot of it off I keep this just around the edge so that I'm not overtaking the whole painting with Payne's Grey but that's immediately popped him out so that I can actually see, oh, those are his legs now and they're looking quite good. Um, and I'm going to come up here too and I'm going to have to go over his beautiful feathers again once I'm done. But just using a dry rag, otherwise if it's too wet you'll actually just take all the paint off, creating a shadow you're not actually putting a dense covering on the painting you're just again popping out whatever it is you need to so that's made a big difference so um, I quite like to do something similar with the butterfly so I'm now going to come in down here and I'm not going to go all the way around the butterfly I'm just going to very loosely come down the bottom here and Dabbing, wiping, rubbing, be, be a bit brave with how you're doing this because if you're too careful you'll be just be doing layers and layers and layers and it'll take a long time. Um, just going to come in here and create a little bit of drama. So we're getting a little bit of a shadow going on there, not quite as intense as the kiwi but Again, it's popping it out. Okay, and we're going to come. I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to do the same through here. And you don't have to ha do it all the way around. Make sure you rub all those edges away so you don't get any lines left. A wet cotton bud. And you can take that all off there. And then that keeps your design rack clean. That dries and that provides just a little bit there too. So you're actually balancing it out with some depth, some depth and some depth, some depth there. There's a lot more to do. I'm going to be making this all cohesive, bringing all these pieces together and I'll bring you some more videos as I progress with this through the stages. Thanks, see ya.